Hey guys, so a couple videos ago, you may have saw that I came across a good use case for NFC tags, allowing your guests to connect to your Wi-Fi network just by tapping their device on there. While that was a good gateway to the NFC technology, I came across a lot of other cool use cases for NFC tags when it comes to home automation. Let's get started. What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech and on this channel we do smart home tech reviews, installations, and DIY guides. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any time, check out the video description for show notes and product links for everything mentioned in this video. So what we're gonna be doing in short is allowing our SmartThings or Hubitat, I believe, devices to be triggered or turned on or turned off or whatever we wanna do via an NFC tag. Now the hardest part of this is finding out use cases for this where while touching your phone to a physical device seems like it's a step backwards in home automation, in some use cases, it actually makes more sense than having an automation set up or maybe doing it a different way, going into an app on your phone where just touching your phone to the tag is a little bit quicker and easier. So the different use cases that I came up with, we're gonna show you in just a little bit after we get this set up on our device. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is an Android phone that has NFC built in. Most newer Android phones do have NFC, so that shouldn't be an issue. Just hop into settings and see if it's there. If it is, you should be good to go. Now there are three apps you're gonna need to get this set up. The first one being Trigger, as you can see here, followed by Sharp Tools and Tasker. They're all free to download, but Sharp Tools is actually a plugin for Tasker. And in order to link those together, there is a $2.49 fee, but you can try a free trial first to see if it works for you. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is jump into Sharp Tools, and we're gonna to need to set up our hub with Sharp Tools. And if we go into Settings, uh, we can authorize things right at the top there. And this will take us to our SmartThings login. And once you're logged into SmartThings, just select your hub name, select all of your devices or whichever devices you want uh, this to be able to work with, which I have everything selected here almost. I have a few new devices, and I will click Authorize and then that will go ahead and work after a few seconds and authorize all your devices. There we go, 87 things. Now we will go back and go into Tasker. The first thing you wanna do is go into settings and preferences and miscellaneous over at the side. And you want to tick this box, allow external access. And what that allows is the trigger app to talk to Tasker, that's all that does. Now, if you've ever used Tasker in the past, you typically would set up a profile which is basically setting up something to trigger something else to trigger a task. But we're not going to be using profiles at all, we're just going to be using tasks. So in tasks, in tasker, we're gonna go ahead and add a new one and we'll name it. I have one set called bed rhyme routine here, as you said, I meant to say bedtime, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that one again, spelled correctly. That's probably one of my favorite use cases that I've used so far. But anyway, let's go ahead and add an action. And what that action is going to be is actually a plugin. There it is, plugin. And if Sharp Tools is installed on your device, it should be here. And at this point, it may ask you to uh, sign up for that trial or pay for the plugin. Now we can have different things happen here. We can have mode routine, a thing, or any of the following. What we're gonna do is select routine, but as an example, I'm gonna show you what a thing does. Setting this up is a little bit confusing. So if you want to toggle a thing or something like that, we can go to configuration, click the little pencil icon and it takes a second. So just wait for that to come up. There it is. And instead of just selecting your thing from a list, you actually have to figure out what the device type in SmartThings that device is. So you may need to hop onto the SmartThings IDE on the computer and just figure out real quick what device type that thing is using. So just as an example, uh, we can use the bathroom dimmer, which I know is an Innovelli dimmer. And I only have one of those set up right now, so bathroom vanity. And we want to toggle that on and off. So that's just an example. Now that's set up as a thing, but we're not doing that in this case. So I'm gonna cut that and redo it. We'll go into plugin once again and sharp tools, and we're going to go to routine and we'll click on configuration again and just simply select your routine, which mine's going to be good night. And we'll just go back, and now that's saved as a task under bedtime routine. So we can just go ahead and click the check mark there, 
And now what we're going to need to do is go into trigger. We'll create a new task here. And we want to select the first one, which is run a task, sorry, third one, run a task or switch task when you tap an NFC tag. So then we'll click next. So here what we're able to do is actually add a restriction. So this will be different for every person, but the best restriction that I found to add in this case is charging. And if you haven't picked up on it yet, what we're gonna be doing is actually setting this up so that when I set my phone down on my bedside table, it will go ahead and run that goodnight routine so I don't have to execute it in a different way. I may set my phone down on that table at different parts of the day, but typically I'm, I don't need to charge my phone. So it won't actually run that trigger unless my phone is charging and I touch the, the tag. Another restriction you could add is time uh, between certain times, but we go to bed at different times, so that doesn't really work for us. So I'm gonna click done and next and choose an action. And what we want that action to do is be a task or task. If we go and toggle that, we can click the little magnifying glass and find that bedtime routine. Now, if your list of tasks doesn't show up here, that may be because you didn't go to the settings in Tasker and allow external access before you set up the task or before you did this step. Now, if you still did that and it's still not working, I suggest uninstalling everything and restarting. So I will select bedtime routine and add to task. Here is where we can actually name this. So I'll call it bedtime, bedtime routine. Next. And now is where we scan the tag. Now these NFC tags I found on Amazon, they're pretty small. The reason I like them, they're about an inch in diameter. They have really big ones and they have keychain ones. They have all kinds of different kind. But the reason I like these is like I said, they're small. They have a sticky back and they can be used for lots of different applications. And as you'll be able to see in just a second when I show you how this works in my room is I actually created a decal which you are able to purchase to go over this so it looks a little bit better than just a NFC tags stuck to your uh, bedside table there. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and program this. The NFC radio on my phone is actually right in the center top of the device here. So I'll just plop it on there. Tag written successfully, your tag is ready to use. now. As long as my phone is charging, because we added that restriction, and I touch this tag, it will go ahead and launch that bedtime routine. So let's go upstairs and I will show you how it works. All right, so we're up in the bedroom now. This is my nightstand and I have an NFC sticker here already placed. I've been using it and it's been working well, but I wanted to make it look a little bit better. Um, what this NFC sticker does is it triggers my bedtime routine, turns all the lights off, arms the security system, and so on. I could just leave this sticker here and use it as is like I have been, but I wanted to make it look a little bit better. I just have a moon and star decal here. How they are available for purchase if you want. We'll throw in an NFC sticker if there is any available for us to purchase. We'll buy the stickers in bulk and then include one in your shipment if you do pick up any of our decals and these are available in multiple colors. Just uh, check out the link in the description for the color options. Now I'm just going to show you how to apply it. It's really simple. You just basically peel off the white backing on the vinyl itself and then make sure that the transfer tape is stuck to the vinyl itself and that it is removed from the white backing completely just like that. And uh, since I do have a dark nightstand it probably would have been a better choice to go with maybe a white or a different color. I made the star the center of the star a little bit bigger than the diameter of the NFC sticker so that it would fit over it nicely. There's, there's probably an eighth inch on either side of the star so it should fit without any issues. I'm just going to place it just like that. Since this is circular you want to start in the center and kind of work it out. There we go. And then just push the vinyl down making sure that it is stuck to the surface and not the transfer tape anymore. And then just peel the transfer tape up, make sure that the vinyl is still stuck. In some places, it will try to peel up. All right, so that's it, the decal is applied. Super easy to apply these decals. 
Uh, it makes it look a lot better than just a plain old NFC sticker sitting there. And it tells people that may or may not know what that sticker is, what it actually does with the symbolization of the moon and star. All right, so let's see it in action. I went ahead and pulled up an action tiles panel, as you can see, and the mode is currently dark out. And when I touch it to this, it will switch from dark out to asleep. And it also turn off all the lights in the house, including this one here. I have a studio light right here that's shining on me, so that one will not turn off. But just to give you an idea of the responsiveness, I showed you in the basement, but let's just go ahead and show you one more time. There we go, it vibrated. Asleep, lights are off. All the lights in the house are off, and we can go to sleep. Uh, all this is done just from setting my phone on the nightstand just like I would any other night, so why not have it do something else as well? All right, so I mentioned there are other scenarios for these NFC tags when it comes to home automation, and really that varies from person to person with their personal setup and how your home is laid out and everything like that. You could put one of these stickers at in the top corner of your door maybe if you have a smart door lock. And if you don't wanna hop into the SmartThings app or what other other app you're using to toggle that door lock, you can just put your phone up there, boom, unlock, something like that. Another application where you may not have an automation set up for whatever reason, you don't want a motion sensor in that room or the light switch is in a bad location or whatever it may be, you can set this up with a decal of a light bulb to make it look a little bit better as I've done here, also available in the description down below, and you can have it toggle that light that way just by using your phone. And another use case that I came up with was actually toggling a simulated switch that is used for the baby's nursery. Now, real quick, what this switch does is it turns the lights off in the bedroom. It doesn't allow the motion sensor in the bedroom to turn the lights back on, of course, as well as it dims the hallway light down to 5%, so it's not dark in the area. And it also turns the speakers in the house down, so anything that may come through those speakers aren't loud and is gonna wake the baby up. It changes a few light bulbs around the house it's color, so our son knows that the baby is sleeping to be quiet. So all that is actually triggered from this NFC tag now, which is stuck outside the door of her room with a decal around it. And you guessed it, yes, the decal is also available for purchase. So those are a few use cases that we came up with and found that it actually works very reliably. I was kind of skeptical at first because there's three different apps that's being used and two different cloud services, but for whatever reason, it's been working very well. So if you have any other use cases that you come up with, let me know down in the comments. I'm definitely interested in learning more about what we can use these NFC tags for. These tags themselves will be in the description down below that I'm using as well as others. And all of the decals that you saw in this video are available for purchase from my website. So that's all I have for this one. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one.